Hey guys, Brandon here with Eldeck, and today I've got the newest addition to the Tysum EDK line. That is the Tysum 3 board. So let's go ahead and open up the package to see what's inside. Alright, so here we have the package. I've already gotten started on it by just removing that Aldeck uh, sleeve there. And that's just so we can go ahead and dive right in. So just like every other iteration of the Tyson Embedded Development Kits, this package will of course include the Tyson board. The uh, Tyson 3, in fact. And there's a lot to say about this board, uh, with the first being its compact size. As you can see, everything here fits within a relatively small space of 100 by 144 millimeters. But uh, don't let that f uh, small size fool you, as the board is quite powerful. In fact, it features the uh, most powerful Zinc MPSOC. That is the Zinc Ultrascale Plus uh, EV MPSOC. And the great thing about that particular Zinc device is that it contains an integrated H.264, H.265 video co uh, codec capable of simultaneous encoding and decoding up to 4K by 2K uh, at 60 FPS. Uh, this makes the board particularly great for embedded vision applications, such as ADAS, surveillance, and multimedia. Of course, there's so much more the board can offer, as in, in, as in addition to its image processing capabilities, uh, this Zinc device includes the largest FPGA within the Ultrascale Plus MPSOC family, with uh, 4 gigabytes of supplemented DDR4 memory available for that programmable logic. On the processing side, the board includes a quad-core ARM Cortex-A53 as its application processing unit, a dual-core ARM Cortex-R5 as its real-time processing unit, and finally an ARM Mali-400 as its graphics processing unit. So uh, suffice to say, there's quite a bit of power packed in that guy. And that's just what's at the core of the board. Uh, to make use of all that power, we have quite a number of ways to interface with the board. Just going along this side here, we can see uh, two connectors for antennae, should you want to run Wi-Fi or perhaps Bluetooth. And next to those two is the QSFP Plus uh, interface uh, for your high-speed data communication needs. Uh, this particular interface can support up to four channels of 10 gigabit Ethernet. On the other side, we have our connector for our DDR4 uh, SODIM memory, uh, which can be used to supplement that robust processing system mentioned earlier. And I should also mention, I should also mention that the uh, Tyson 3 includes two gigabytes of uh, onboard NAND memory as well. Uh, on the next side, we can find our power connectors. Uh, that's going to be a six pin interface and right next to it is a uh, power switch to control that on off state we also have a few communication ports in the form of four uh, usb 3.0 as well as two rj45 on the next corner we have our multimedia interfaces in the form of a display port as well as two hdmi in out ports and uh, that's hdmi 2.0 uh, capable or are suitable for 4K applications. Uh, just between those two is the mini USB connection, and that will be used to interface with the UART uh, connection on the board. Uh, just underneath that is the slot for the micro SD card, and that can support up to 32 gigabytes of uh, memory storage. On the next corner, we can see a few more uh, communication ports in the form of SATA, as well as PMOD and JTAG right next to it. And there's this little switch to control the uh, voltage for the PMOD. In fact, speaking of those simple kind of input-output devices, we have a few uh, push buttons up here, which can control the uh, reset of the programmable logic and processing system. Uh, we also have a few DIP switches scattered about, uh, some for configuration of the board, and some for uh, user application. And in that same vein, we have some uh, LEDs scattered throughout the board uh, that can also be used for your own user applications. So if all those ports and interfaces weren't enough, uh, this board also comes packed with two FMC sites, allowing for additional connections of daughter boards to expand your peripherals. In fact, if you're interested in seeing some of uh, the expansions available through FMC, you can check out Aldex's own set of daughter cards, which can support uh, ADAS, IoT, 
computer vision, and many other applications. So that's the uh, general overview of the Tyson theory. Uh, let's now take a look at some of the other extras included in the package. So I'll just put that off to the side for now. Now, if not just ordering the uh, board itself, the embedded development kit will also include an installation disk for Riviera Pro, our own high performance simulator for HDL designs, which offer extensive uh, simulation optimization algorithms to achieve high performance in VHDL, Verilog, System Verilog, System C, and mixed uh, language simulations. The tool also provides great debugging capabilities in the form of advanced uh, code coverage and functional coverage, uh, waveform viewing, data flow viewing, hardware breakpoints, and much, much more. In fact, this particular version of Riviera Pro is the first to feature the hardware software code simulation flow with uh, QMU. Uh, as MPSOC designs become more complex, uh, this code simulation pro uh, this code simulation becomes essential for the testing of your design, uh, all before anything's ready to go on chip. So be sure to look out for that. And speaking of software, this kit also comes with a license to uh, Xilinx's HLX edition of the Vivado Design Suite, uh, as well as the Xilinx SDSOC development environment, both of which are very helpful in the design and development of your applications to be ran on the Tysim 3. And then we can see we have a few other extra stuff here, such as cables and media. Uh, taking a look in here, we can see our power supply. So there's that six pin uh, connection uh, shown uh, that was shown earlier. And then the first of our cables here looks like an HDMI cable for your video application needs. Uh, additionally, we have an ethernet cable for any networking uh, applications. And then one more cable here, looks like to be a USB to mini USB. And once again, that will be used to interface with the UR connection on the uh, board. And then finally, we have some additional media here. Uh, first up is this micro SD card. Uh, this will come preloaded with Ubuntu to be ran and loaded up on the board. And that particular build of uh, Linux is in support of the Yocto project, which is an effort to create Linux-based systems for uh, embedded uh, designs. Um, in fact, Aldec is actually a member of uh, that particular project. And then finally, we have the, uh, an Aldec flash drive. And this will contain some Zinc reference materials such as documentation and tutorials to help you get started on the board pretty quickly. So overall, we can see the Tysim 3 is quite adaptable to different types of applications, especially considering uh, that possibility for device expansion. However, the board really does shine in the realm of multimedia and embedded vision, with that core Zinc MPSOC being optimal for processing algorithms or applying filters and overlays to streamed video. So if you're looking for a prototyping solution to embedded vision or any other type of application, be sure to check out the Tyson 3 Embedded Development Kit. And of course, thanks for watching.